Boom, what is up guys? Welcome to the Sweet Outdoors. Today we're in Daryl's Bar and Grill. It has been quite a while since I brought you a video. Uh, usually my cooking videos are cooking shorts, but I'm, today I'm gonna share something a little special with you. Well, you maybe even call it special, I call it special. Today I am making Deer chili. Now I did a cooking short last week of chili, but this is going to be venison chili, and it's for a special reason. Uh, my son is a disabled vet, and he's been wanting some deer chili. I'm making him some deer chili today. Hey, it's the Christmas season. I'm in the mood for giving and all that shit. So I'm gonna make him some chili. Let's uh, let's bring you down here. I'll show you what we're gonna be working with today. Well, it's going to be good, too. I tell you what. All right, let's turn. We got ground deer meat, chorizo sausage, our chilio, pepper, onion. Of course, it says nachos, but that's jalapeno peppers. Minced garlic. We got our tomato paste, tomato sauce, corn, beans, diced tomatoes. And today, we're going to use, if I can get this thing out, one-handed. It's complicated. Boom. Check it out, guys. The old hickory by the Ontario Knife Company. That's what we're going to be using in the kitchen today. So, once I get everything set up and ready to go, you know I'll bring you back, guys, because I love you. Do me a favor real quick before we go any further. Go ahead, hit that like, hit that subscribe, Knock that notification button so you're made aware when I do make a video and drop it for you. Uh, check us out on Facebook, the Sweet Outdoors, best place in the world to be. And uh, let's get this party started because this boy hungry as hell. Alright guys, I, I gotta follow the... The, the deer meat out it's a little still a little frozen so I got a thaw in right now but real quick I want to show you something that a lot of people don't know how to use a can opener no not this uh, I don't know about you guys I catch hell with these can openers stri strictly because they just don't make them that good anymore that the little gears right here inside here always seem to strip out and I can't open my damn cans sucks I'm going to show you a vintage can opener actually it's the very first can opener I ever learned how to use my dad had one back when I was growing up and that's what we used to open cans with check this little guy out can opener bottle opener corkscrew everything you need guys I got these off of Amazon. I, got, I paid like, I don't know, eight bucks, 12 bucks, something like that for two of them. Got one in my camping box and I keep one in the kitchen drawer because I hate those other can openers. Let me angle you down and we'll show you how to use this bad boy. You uh, old timers, y'all know how, y'all know what's up. Y'all know how to use this. So easy. Stick it right there, pop it in the can and boom. Yes, it takes a little bit of effort to open a can. Not as easy as a little, the, the fancy turning ones. And there's electric can openers and everything else, but it's, it's just so easy, guys. And you don't have to worry about mechanical failure. Watch out for sharp edges. Just that simple. So stick around, we're gonna make us some chili. All right, guys. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead, since we're waiting a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and cut our onion and bell pepper up. <coughs> Just go ahead and have it ready. Uh, like I said, the Ontario Knife Company knife is gonna be used today. Carbon steel. This is the Huntsman version, made in the USA. Don't get no better than this. This is a timeless classic knife. 
My grandmother had one of these knives and I absolutely loved it. <sighs> Love me some chili. You know, a lot of people say chili is for cold weather. I can eat chili anytime. I love chili. Deer chili, <laughs> love it even more. Nice thing about this big old pot that we're gonna make today, my wife don't eat deer meat. So all this chili that I'm making today is for me and my son, which is nothing wrong with that, guys. Anything you can do for your kids it's not a pain in the ass. It's a pleasure. I spent 20 years working shift work seven days a week. Never got to see my kids that much. And uh, you don't realize what you miss. Went to work one day and my little girl, she was, you know, learning to walk getting ready to go to school and all that good stuff. And got off work that evening and she was graduating high school. And now she's taking her master's in college. But that's how time goes, man. And you can't let it get away from you. I missed so much growing up. Or not growing up. I missed so much of my kids growing up. Because I was making a living. Yes, you have to make a living. You got to support your family. Of course, I'm not saying do not support your family. But when you get the time, when you get the chance to spend time with your family, with your kids, jump on it. I mean, there are family members that I could care less to spend time with. But let me tell you something. It's not my kids, well, that's for sure. I've, there's been days that I've had plans to go do something. And my daughter or my son called me wanting to do something. Drop my plans, forget them. Spending time with the kids is more important. And now I have granddaughters and I get to spend time with them because I don't work that shift work anymore and it is definitely a blessing got a call the other day at work I'm getting ready to come home actually my daughter asked me what I was doing so I'm getting ready to come home. So she asked me what I'm doing next Sunday. I told her I didn't have any set in stone plans at the moment. She got tickets to a Miami Dolphins versus a New York Jets game and wants to go with her dad. I was, I'm not going to say I was shocked. But I was definitely honored. I was definitely, it, it really means something. And I hope everyone can enjoy, can take advantage of doing things with their kids like that. So, all right. Enough of that mushy stuff. Let's go ahead and we'll move our cutting board over some. We're gonna go ahead and fire this bad boy up. We will go ahead and squeeze some garlic in with our peppers and onions. We're going to take our beef chorizo sausage, chorizo sausage, whatever you want to call it, and throw it in here. The reason why I'm adding the sausage main reason is because I want to but deer meat has very little fat has very little fat in it 
the chorizo sausage has fat in it. So we add that just to get a little bit of fat to help cook the meat. Time out. All right, we're back. Got our chorizo, our onions, peppers, garlic. Now we're gonna add the star of the show, co-star. I'm the star, remember that. We're gonna add our deer meat. Get that going. Sorry if I keep stepping away, I'm trying to keep my hands clean. So, the center of my deer meat is still a little frozen, so as it cooks, it'll thaw. Goodness, it smells good already. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of seasoning. My preferred go-to for just about everything. Right there. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, guys. show you what's going on here and then I'll bring you back shortly so there we go all kinds of good stuff going on in there onions peppers garlic seasoning chorizo and deer meat stick around we'll be adding the canned goods in a minute almost forgot we want to add these to the meat while it's cooking. Now these are not spicy. These are pickled. No, they don't taste like dill pickles. But they do taste good. And they are not spicy. All right. Go ahead and get a big can ready. Now the uh, the can of tomato paste that I bought, I actually grabbed the wrong one. It's way too big. I got the bigger can and I needed the small one. So I'm probably just going to use about half of that. Like I said, it's uh, just a little too big, more than I need. And all I put it in there for really is to thicken it up. Because I don't like chili soup. I like good thick chili. So... Or this is a 12 ounce can. I normally get the little small, I believe it's a 6 ounce. And uh, use just one whole can of that. But like I said, this is more than I need. And uh, I'll just use half of it. Ooh, I put a good sharp edge on that, so I better be careful of that. We'll be back, guys. All right. We'll start adding our goodies, our canned goodies. Here's my diced tomatoes. Light red kidney beans. I don't drain none of the water off of my canned goods because you got to have water in here anyway. Here's my whole kernel corn. There is the big boy tomato sauce. Now you can add to your liking, of course. This is just my chili. Now, I'll grab a thing and get some of our tomato paste put in there. Add all that to her. Chili people. Love it. Alright. Now we will let this simmer for just a little bit. Yes, we're going to have to add water. 
You know, there's people out there that don't put corn in their chili. There's people out there that don't put beans in their chili. There's an ongoing argument over what real chili is. It's whatever you want it to be. Make what you like, not what other people say you should like. I had a can of water so everything could mix up good. Once the uh, once I put the chili seasoning and the tomato paste starts to separate, it'll thicken up more. Plus, you know, when it simmers and settles, it'll thicken up as well. So we're gonna go ahead and add two cans of water. It's beginning to look a lot like chili. Oh. All right, I'll bring you back, guys. Oh, look at that. All right, it's hot enough now. You want to wait till the chili is. Until everything is nice and hot before you add your chili oil, your chili seasoning. That way it does dissolve better. And normally you would add one pack of seasoning. I always add two just because I like a more robust flavor. And like I said, it does thicken it up. Now you could add one and put corn starch or whatever you want to thicken it up, however you less water, whatever you want. Like I said, you know, do it however you like it. That's how I like it. That's why I'm making it this way. Oh yeah. Get the first packet stirred in there real good. Go ahead and turn the heat down some, and we're going to add number two. Oh, it smells so good! And you can do spicy seasoning. You can put hot sauce, and you know, like I said, however you want to do it. Uh, I like hot sauce in my chili. My son says he likes hot sauce in his chili, but we went to Popeye's one day and he got some wings and they lit him up. So I told him I'm not going to cook the chili with hot sauce in it. He can add it to his. Just like I will add it to mine. So, now, let me let you look at this. You can see the difference. chili -o. See, it's thickening up now. There. Now that's looking like chili. Mmm. Alright guys. I'll bring you back when we're all done. How's that sound? Now of course guys, you can cook your chili in a crock pot, which is definitely better. Tastes better. But, I mean, you can slow cook it on the stove just as well. Turn the heat down low. Let it simmer. Only bad thing about doing it on the stove compared to the crock pot, you gotta stay there with it. You don't want to leave a pot on the stove. Look at that. That's what chili should look like. Oh my goodness, I'm hungry. Y'all want a bowl? Come get some. All right. Got my little sample bowl of venison chili. It is super hot. Liquid hot magma. Anyway. Uh, side note. I have never made chili. With chorizo sausage. First time for me. It better be good. It's hot. It's delicious. Added me a little hot sauce to it. Oh my goodness, this is good. 
the only thing it's missing is about a 30 degree weather outside we're in the mid 80s low 80s high 70s something like that. it's south florida so you know we ain't got no cold weather if it was 30 degrees outside this would be absolutely perfect still perfect still just not absolutely perfect Mm, mm, mm. It is delish. It is delish. Let me uh, get my son, get his opinion on it. I'll share that with you. We'll be back. All right, guys. The moment of truth. There it is. This is my son, Justin. Hello. We'll see what he thinks about his venison chili. Wow. <laughs> Good. Is it too spicy? <coughs> little? Yeah. Probably the tree, so I just put a little bit of hot sauce in there for you. There you go. That's it, guys. There you go. Venison chili with chorizo sausage for my son. He wanted it. There it is. I hope you enjoyed it. Do me a favor. Like and subscribe. Give that thumbs up. Hit that notification button so you know next time I make a video. Check us out on Facebook, The Sweet Outdoors. With all that, I want to eat. I'm hungry. Be safe. God bless. Get outside, people. <laughs>